everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here today with a colouring chat. As you know, we were colouring in fairy portraits uh, by Deborah Muller, and we were doing this one, Pippa. Um, and we started it last week, and I've got to be honest, I haven't been doing very much, because it's been so damn hot. Um, I am not good in the heat, I hate hot weather. I've always hated hot weather, so that is why I haven't been colouring very much at all. I have been doing the odd colouring thing, but not very much, I'll admit. So we're going to carry on doing this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do a background. I, don't, I think it looks quite nice without one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one, and then if we've got a bit of time, I'm going to go on to another whip that I've been, had hanging around since the beginning of the month, and I'm going to do that one, uh, finish that one off. So this is kind of a whip in the whips, end of the month type thing. And I'm going to do another one of these before the end of July. So I've just got my polychromos pencils out now, and I'm just going to do a little bit of um, pencil work. Because as you can see, you've got a little bit of some lines on her from the markers, because I'm terrible with them. I do it far too quickly. And I do need to, to slow down to stop getting the... Uh, and even line. So we just put a little bit over and see how it goes. So how have you all been while I have been melting? I mean for the rest of the world what we get is it's not that hot really. It's 30 degrees it's been. It's not now. It has cooled off a bit. It's still warm but it, it's more bearable. But in the UK, we don't have air conditioning. Our houses are very well insulated because we have colder weather than we have, more cold weather than hot. And we don't have air con because we only get hot weather for about two weeks of the year if we're lucky. And our humidity is very high. Um, it's very wet here, it's very, very, very humid. So the humidity at some points in last week was 88%. That's why we live in such a beautiful country, it's so green. It's because of all the rain and the humidity. Um, so, but it gets to a point where we're not built for it. Some people can tolerate it. We don't get time to acclimatise. I'm sure if it was like that all year round, we would. I burn very easily. I'm not a redhead, um, but I am fair skinned. So I burn fairly easily. And then of course I come out in uh, something called polymorphic light sensitivity which is when you're so sensitive to the skin that you will burn within uh, five minutes and you'll get a rash literally I can walk from the car to the house and like an hour later I'll have a rash if I'm not careful in the heat but that's just the way it goes it's something I have to deal with um, usually I mean for instance last week we went in the, the paddling pool last week and I put a long sleeve shirt on to stop me from burning it's just that's what I have to do so, and, and that's fine. It's just, it is what it is. And I, I deal with it. I would prefer it not to be like that, but that is me and I have to. So, yeah. So I'm just sharpening my pencil. Give her a bit of blush, that's the one. Right, there we go. She's quite a, like, cheeky chops, isn't she? She's got a very cheeky choppy face. You can't see it, but she has. I don't like to put too much makeup on my girls. I'm more of a natural look person. Although sometimes I do, it depends. If it's a, a, a particular kind of thing. But I think she'd be quite innocent with her Shirley Temple ringlets, I think. So today I've been watching the Olympics, it is Monday so it was the third day of the Olympics today and it was quite a good day for Team GB, you yeah, got three golds, two silvers and a bronze. Tom Daly finally won a gold in the synchro diving with um, Matty Lee, his partner, his uh, synchro partner which is absolutely fantastic because we've been watching him obviously since he first started when he did his first Olympics, he was what 14? Um, so obviously to see him finally achieve his dream uh, I think it's very sad that his father wasn't there to see it because obviously his father died a few years ago um, but you know he'll be, if, he, if, he's, if there is an afterlife he'll be watching, watching him he'll be there 
watching watching Paul watching uh, good old Tom Daly finally achieving his dream which is wonderful wonderful to see so I will do a little bit of uh, eyeliner because I do like them to have nice eyelashes because I've got big eyelashes so I always think everybody should have them I do like this book I will be doing more in this one Yeah, so I, I, like I said, I watched the Olympics and it was absolutely fantastic to see. Really, 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 really enjoyed it. I'm so chuffed for the, the team. They, they did so well. It's wonderful to see how well our team did. So, yeah. And still more to come. So, you know, it's only day three. There's a lot of still to go. I can't wait to see what happens next. I've just been really enjoying it. So I'm going to do some gel now. Put that down there on top of those. So yeah, I've got a stack of books here that I really want to get finished if I can. Um, and um, yeah, I really, really want to finish some of these. Oh, I don't really want to do a background on her. She looks quite nice as she is. So I thought just to come in and do some the gel pen and then I'll uh, click off and finish another one and you can see what uh, the other stuff I've got on the go. So that I want to finish this month. A good good stack of books but there's still a lot of whips and I keep starting new ones as well. So I've done two buddy colours with Chelsea this month so that's Chelsea J, Jade Murray colouring um, and we're about to start a third one. <laughs> I, I, I mean I'm happy to do a buddy colour with anybody. If, if anybody wants to do a buddy colour only gotta let me know and we'll do one you just leave a comment down below if you want to do a buddy colour and you know all my books pretty much are on here either as a haul or a, a flip through or in one of the old collection videos so if you really want to do a buddy colour just let me know and I will happily do one with you I want to do more buddy colours. I've really enjoyed the ones I've done with Chelsea. They've been really good fun. So I really want to do some more. With, with other people. So please, if you do want to, please, please let me know down below because I would love it. So I have done a few, but... Uh, I don't like to let people down, so sometimes doing, you know, something like body colour, you've got to be on the on the ball with it, haven't you, to make sure that you're. You know, so me and Chelsea we say right, we're going to do it by this date, and that's what we do. We we do it by that date. So we've picked another one. I haven't started it. We haven't picked a date, so I should probably do it tomorrow afternoon. At least I hope so. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to do it tomorrow. So I'm going to do this whole. Try and blend these two together. It's a dark one and a lighter one. I don't know whether it will work. Oh yeah. It's better if you use two different colours to be fair, but I do like the way that these gels smear when you colour it in and it gives a nice shimmery smear. Put on the 
darker one now. Is there a darker one again? Oh, there is. I might use the darker one again as well. So it's, it still sparkles, just it's more shimmery sparkles. Obviously, you do go out the lines a bit, but I don't think that matters on a fairy because her wings would sparkle and shimmer outside of the thing. I am just oh, I just dropped the top. It's landed on me. Let me just get a darker green for just a bit there. That's it. I'm going to put a bit down here. As you can see, obviously I'm doing this. little bit out of my reach but I'll just give it a shimmer around so it looks like she's flapping her wings a little bit These are the Chromatec glitter pens. I love the way Chelsea sorted hers out. I can't be bothered with that. Well, I haven't actually got a, a spare case to put them in, to be honest, because I've got so many cases and, and there's so many pencils that haven't got cases that I need to get cases for. However, I'm thinking what I might use is I've got a big case that's got my Black Widows in, um, which it holds 150. It's the same same case I got my Prismas in, just a different colour case. However, Black Widow are releasing another 36 set. So this um, case only holds 150 or just over 150. So there's 144 in it, so with another 36, what's that, 200? Near enough? Well, it's, two, it's uh, 100 and... 80, there we are, 180 pencils, so I need a 200 slot, um, so I will have to get a 200 slot case, and when I order that, which will be closer to when they come out, when the, the next set of widows come out, that is when I will put my gel pens in a case, and I'll put it in the case that my black widows were in. Well, they're currently in. They won't be in then because, obviously, I'm going to need a bigger slot. I really want Black Widow to do a set of watercolours, but uh, the one I suggested it to Al, but he did give me a thumbs up, so maybe it's something they'll do in the future. There we go. So that one's that done for me. I, I, I could do a background, but I don't want to. I, I get really nervous of backgrounds. They get, you know... You get a bit scary but I will be keeping the glitter gel pens out because I'll be using that in the next book so that's our fairy portrait so it's only had a little bit to do so that's why I decided to do some whipping the whips so I'm just put that one out of the way I can put it in my completed pile for later now let's get rid of this black gel next one is from the witch's compendium and I started this one when I was on holiday and it's this one, which is a Selena Fennec one, um, Opala. And I haven't finished it, as you can see, I've done most of it, but I need to do her uh, trim on her dress and the sparkles in her, her, her bag. So this is gonna be fun, <laughs> not. And the reason it's not going to be a lot of fun is, uh, because of the, it's so tiny. The detail is so tiny on some of these bits. So if I look here and I could go, hmm, if I go in between these, it's so tiny, it's very difficult. Now I have actually done some of that. Uh, now so it does actually look like you're not actually 
colouring anything because <laughs> it's so, excuse me, I'm hitting my head on the camera, it's so tiny in between the decorations, particularly on her belt part. It's not so bad on her arms here. This, this arm particularly is slightly wash my hair so I've got a hair up in a turban and it's getting in the way uh, so I'm just gonna I hope you can't see my head but if you can I do apologize it is very fiddly this bit I'll admit that's better So yeah, this is when I started on holiday, right back at the beginning of the month. I know I've got so much still to film, I still haven't filmed my Jack the Ripper giveaway. Because that's taken forever, isn't it? Uh, I have something I'm going to have to look at doing in the next day or two, I think. This bit's really hard because it's pretty grey anyway. I can see a bit better now I'm down here. I do hope my head's not in the way. It'd be very boring for you if my head's in the way. This is going to be impossible, this bit. Bit better there. my neighbours. <laughs> my neighbour from over the road, she's lovely, she's... That's that. So I'm just going to do this bit. Now I'll admit, I love Selena Fennec's work. Um, and I've got a lot of her books. And I think I've got this in one of the books as well, probably. No, more than likely. So there are a few books I haven't got, so I must go and try and get those. Oh god, it's just too many books out, isn't there? Well, there are, aren't there? Let's be honest, there's so many books that keep getting released. I mean, Deborah Muller releases loads. Jade Summer have slowed down this year. Ava Brown released loads, and I've got two pictures I need to post in their group. And then I need to do the reviews. And I, I've loved what they've put out. I love the Mermaid book. I've only done one in it, but... Oh my god, I'm, there's so many I want to do in that book, I'm not going to lie. It, they're just so cute. So I'll be doing some more of those soon, I hope. But like I said, I'm trying to get some whips finished. Now, other than starting the one that I'm doing with Chelsea, Chelsea I'm not going to really be starting anything else. Now, because I want to do my complete collection of books next month, the beginning of the month. It's going to be the first thing I start filming. As soon as I filmed my haul and my wrap up, which will be soon, it's only because I'm expecting a parcel from the works and I know there's books in there. And I've ordered the Care Bears book from um, Anthem, Colour in Heaven book. Uh, that's the only reason I've not filmed it because I'm hoping the Care Bears will come. And I'm hoping it's going to come on very quickly but what I will start doing is as soon as I film my monthly pages and my what's it called my monthly pages and my haul because I'm naughty and it's another big haul sorry what I will do is I've got to get in close now because it's these patterns around here is I'm going to, the next day, start filming. So my plan for the month is to try and colour in five new books, well five books I haven't coloured in. 
to get them off the shelf. Not buy as many because I've bought loads again this month. And I'm trying to save some money now because I want to get a new set of Prismas. I've fallen in love with them again. So I want to buy a new set. And so I want to save. And I want to um, do that. So my idea is that I'll um, do one of the Jade Summer books I haven't coloured in yet. Doesn't matter which one. And then I'll try and do four off the other shelf. Again, I'm going to try and complete some of the whips that I won't have finished because there are there will be whips I haven't finished. There will be. There's bound to be. Because there's some that I need to use water media on, and I've got to be honest, I'm quite lazy when it comes to doing those. I can't be bothered to get the stuff out. Although there's one I'm going to try and finish this week if I can. Mainly because it's to finish off a video I was making ages ago and I haven't finished the picture. And that was the Mozart watercolour palette, which I really like, but I wanted to colour a picture with it. And I just haven't finished it. There's not much to do, it's just I just can't be bothered to do it. So I'm going to try and finish that this week as well. So that of course I can get it done and get that film filmed so that I can get it up. Because I've given up doing those at the moment with new items until I get the one that one done. Um, and if you still want to see my thoughts on the Arteza watercolour pencils, let me know. And I will finish that one as well. So I sort of started it, but I, well, I haven't even started that really not properly. So. Alright, so this one's nearly finished as well. We're only on 22 minutes, so we might get on to the next one. Now with this, what I need to do is I need a few different colours. I'm just pulling them out from here. I've actually got two more books, but I think we'll probably only do one. I won't be finishing it because it needs some other bit on it that I've not got the stuff ready for yet. So it needs some uh, little background of pastels. So Next, as you can see, she's got some sort of fairy dust here. So I'm just going to put some... various colours. You might not be able to see them because it's very small. I'll put some here, some over here, some bits there, bits there. They are they are actually marked on here. I need a blue as well. I do need a blue. This one. I think the blue would look nice as well. There we go. Literally all we're doing is putting some sparkles now in her bag and where there are gaps for them, they're little circles. I've nearly done them all actually. We'll get the gold out again I think and uh, put a few more gold ones. Mm. 
more on. Looks nice, I think that's all of them. So that's that one done as well. So yeah. So zoom out and here is my finished one. I'll just post that to the colour in heaven page later. Oh I haven't done the bottom yet, hang on. Oh I'm an idiot. Let's put these away and crack on. Oh I forgot the bottom of a dress. Oh, but still we're nearly done, that's the main thing. I just put these away. Ah. Ah. La 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 So yes, that's my plan is at the as soon as I filmed my haul and my completed pages there will be the start of my colouring book collection um, which will be split so I'm do that, into parts so it's going to be split into um, uncoloured books first and it'll be here, sorry Jade Summer and Curry in Heaven in the first uh, uh, video and then everything else in the second then there'll be whips and PDFs with, uh, with any completed pages in them as well um, and then It'll be just all the completed, all the, the rest of the collection that I've coloured in, um, starting with Jade Summer, Colour in Heaven, and all the pictures I've coloured in those ones. I think it's probably about five or six parts long. And at the moment, there are colouring books everywhere. I ain't kidding, honey. So I've got Thursday off. There. So on, I will be. I don't know if you can even see it. Yes, you can. Excellent. So you've probably just seen my head, actually. Nothing but my head, I reckon. It's because I can't get close up to it. And you're not you're in all the way. I do apologise if you just saw my head and nothing else. It's really hard to do these tiny bits. Not so bad now it's coming this way. Still quite hard. And then once I filmed all those, I will film a supply collection video. So again, it'll probably be split into two. Possibly, yeah, two. It'll be pencils markers and other mediums so it'll be markers any paints i've got that aren't pencils gel pens and so on that'll be fun like i said i still need loads of cases but then it'll give me an idea i'll probably make a list of what i actually need it'll give me the incentive to uh get a list of what cases I actually do need for my other pencils because there's pencils that I've got that they're in boxes they're in the original boxes but there's no reason why you know I'd be more likely to use them if they were out so but they're not so I don't use them so for instance the castle arts and the Arteza ones are in in tin still um, so we've just hit 30 minutes so it's fine, I've nearly finished this one and then we'll have a quick go on the last one for 10 or so minutes. Let's just do this. So yeah, I'll be photographing this, put it on the Colour in Heaven Facebook group. Did I do the last one? I think I might have. I did another one. I've done another one in this one. Um, this month. Because I said I took three books on holiday. Was it three books? Yeah, this one, 
Rita Berman's, which I've started, but I haven't. I've hardly done any of it, so I'll be doing that this month, next month, I expect. Um, and then there was a pattern book I took with me as well. It was Sally Berry's uh, mandala book I took with me, which is good because I love that book too. I mean, yeah, I could have done the trim of her dress red, but I just thought, you know, a bit of black would be nice. So this was on my Prismacolor premieres. Because I took my Prismacolors with me, I thought I'd be brave. And instead of taking my cheap pencils, which I actually bought to take on all day, I'm going to take my Prismas instead. <laughs> so that was brave. There we go. Now it's done, nearly. There, that'll do. It's always hard to get these end bits, but there we are, that'll do. Now I don't need those. Those, slap that away. That's it. That's that, that's that. Put that under there. So let's have a look. So there we are. There's our one from Witch's Compendium. So that's another one finished. Yay! It's terrible. And um, the next one I was doing was from Fairies in Nature, which is again a colour in heaven one. I'm not going to finish this because I want to do a pastel background, so I'm going to need space. And I've been doing this one with my polychromos. This one is called Blown Away, and as you can see, she's got a little uh, dandelion thing. And I've done most of it, and I wanted to keep it really light. I did want to keep it really light coloured. I didn't want it to be very dark. So I'm just going to get the polys out. I was going to do flora, but I think that that's going to wait till the next issue, the next episode, when we do another one whip. Um, I might give her a bit more, a bit more blush on her cheeks because you can, can't actually see very much there. It does show up, but it's very, very faint. I don't want it too much because she's a child, so I don't want her to be looking like she's covered in makeup. I don't know her eyes yet either. So this is one I've been enjoying. Do I enjoyed doing when I started it, and then of course you stop because you're so busy doing other things that you can't. Yeah, that'll do. I'll just go back over her. A little blend in. That's a little bit better actually. My, uh, what was called, they don't call it light flesh now. Light flesh is getting a bit short. I do have another one, I believe. Oh, it's in my other favourite Castell one, but I'm pretty sure I've got another one. If not, I know I can go to Hobby Craft and get one um, on the weekend. But I'm pretty sure I have. So I'll give it a little bit of blend in here. Oh, it's broken as well. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Let me try a different sharpener. Oops. Sharpness coming out of my ears, I have. That's, it. That's better. What's that one? Cinnamon. It doesn't need any much blend in anyway, it's just to make sure it looks proper. Okay, so let's do her eyes. Like I said, I want to keep this faint. I want to keep it a very pastel look because. Uh, Kinda like that look for this. It's just it just seems right because fairies in nature, and although nature can be brightly coloured, it can also be very natural and very muted. So if my hair blows in the way of the camera, I do apologise. I'll we'll probably carry on with this one in the next issue. Um, because I know that, uh, I keep saying next issue, I mean the next episode or the next um, colour and chat. Because I'm not going to finish it today. And I, I mean, we've been going 35 minutes and I think, you know, 40, 45 is long enough. And then I'll do, I've got one in Flora that I've started doing as well. So.
we'll uh, do some more of this one. Like I said, I'm going to do a pastel, a pastel background on this, so you know, I won't be doing that on camera because I've never done it before, so I want to practice off camera first. Now, I want a nice... Where is the one I want? May green. I want a light green. So as you can see there's lots of stems and there's lots of fairies as well so I've got to uh, be very careful with this because there's all fairies everywhere and I haven't started them yet. As you see I'm just putting layers on it. I'm just layering it very lightly here. Get a nice build up, but I wanted her to have light blonde hair, which is what she's got. I'm very pleased with this now. The dandelion, I've still got to decide what color I want to do her the top. I want to keep it light, I don't want it to be bright, like bright, bright pink, or bright red. I think it may be. A green or a blue. Let's have a look at the, uh, uh, the dandelion now. So it is going to be a big haul again this month. I do apologise because I bought loads of books again. Okay. Got a couple of uh, Eva Brown ones as well. Now these dandelion things are never pure white. They look it, but they're not. They're slightly grey. So like I said, I'm not, I, I can't zoom in much further, but as you can see there's just some grey on it. And I'm just using a very light grey and just putting lines on it just to make it look fluffy. Yeah, that looks quite good actually. This grey is cold grey too. And of course we've got some here. I'm just going to go and do these ones as well. These are actually the bits off of her. But she's already done. Like so. Now as you can see these um, other kids are wearing tutus. But I think they're supposed to be part of the dandelion. Or it looks like it. So... What I'm going to do is I'll do their their tutus, their skirts, this this grey. That'll be in the next video because I got to do the. Oh, it's gone. Where am I? Where are we? Come on, shine back in. Thank you. Um, Like these little little ones that are flying off of they're also part of the stems so, so we'll do those people next in the next episode and we are on 40 minutes i'll pop this one in the other way around so i know where it is and i'm thinking i think we'll do blue i think nice light blue that's a nice light blue. What one's that? Light. F f I can't pronounce that. Flaffo blue. Terrible. Just give it a light coat in and then we'll put a bit of darker one over the top. <laughs> yeah, I do want to finish this one. I love this book. I think it's beautiful. But very, very. You don't know where her shoulders end here you see so I mean that's got to be part of her top there surely <laughs> I have to look to see if anybody's done this one I think let's do this bit for now I love the polys uh, polys and prismas I'm really loving again now I hadn't been using them for a while because I was just using the black 
Widows almost exclusively. And uh, I thought oh, I started using the polys for something, I can't remember what it was. I thought, I'm getting used to these now, I'm enjoying them. And then I, I start, thought I want to use the Prismas on something and, and I thought I'll try them on that and I, I loved the way they looked again. So I'm back to using them. I think it's the cost that puts you off using some of these more expensive pencils because I can't afford to buy a new set at the moment. I might be able to in a bit. I'm trying to save up for them. But especially with the um, I mean, the polychromos, it's not so bad because I know I, know I can get them on um, the, 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 the polys I know I can buy, go to, to Hobbycraft and buy because that's where I got my first few. That's why I've got a few doubles, especially the flesh tones, the light flesh tones. I, I've got a, a spare set of those because those are the ones I bought as well as some greens and I think a red. I'm not sure though what colour it was. I'd have to have another look. Um, yeah, so. I want to. My phone's playing up again. I'm going to. I'm going to see if I can find. Oh, I'm getting all. Mm, can I see the album? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. No, it doesn't like it. Um. quick look I'm just gonna stop you for a minute okay so the battery's going now okay so some people have done it as top and some people have done it as her um so I don't think it really matters you'll have to excuse my croaking voice it's because I've got my fan on all the time and it's drying my voice out drying my throat out so I'm just gonna carry on down here we're gonna do a little bit more because we're on 47 minutes now I think or 43 minutes um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more, but not much because it's also getting late and I need to start thinking about getting ready for bed. Um, but yeah, as they, so somebody's got this as her arm, and some of it have got it as a. This is this bit's her top anyway, so that's fine. It's bound to be because her shoulder's going to be up there. There's a neckline of a t-shirt, whatever she's wearing, and somebody's got this bit here and this bit as her top, which is what I'm going to do. And, and then somebody else has done it as her arm. I mean, we're going to call it a, a night now because I'm getting really tired, and like I said, um, we'll carry this on and um, just pop that that way in uh, and the next video because we'll do another one where we carry on with whips so we'll try and finish this off apart from the background which I'll do separately um, and I'll probably film this Wednesday for Thursday and then I've got this one from Flora which I think was done I think that's Prismacolors um, so I, I like I, I thought she was a bit like a dryad because her top ma ma matches the branches of the tree. So I thought I'd do it as a dryad and do a green. So I've just got the leaves and the bird to do really and a background if I want to, which I probably won't on that. It looks kind of nice the way it is. Um, so so there's that one. Um, the Rita Berman one is miles away. I do have one in Beauty of Horror that I have not finished, so we could do a bit on this one, as you can see. It's double page spread. Um, I haven't quite finished the background yet. I mean, that's it needs tidying up, but uh, so, and there's that one. So those are the three that I think I'll tackle in the next video, because those are the ones I want to get finished, so. 
I do hope you've enjoyed this quick catch up of a colour and chat with me trying to finish some of my whips. I um, hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you very, very soon. I do promise to do another one this week. I should probably film it on Wednesday. I'll try and put up a few more flip throughs. I've still got a few left to go up and I've got a few to film. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.